Akuru Akuru my flowers. Hello everybody. Welcome to this amazing uh, session together. I'm going to talk to you about Terrazyme and I am a big fan of Terrazyme. Before I go and talk about Terrazyme which is a property blend with 10 whole food enzyme that breaks down the food that we eat. So the carbs, the sugar, the fiber, the lactose, the gluten, and the protein. So there's a lot of things that's ha happening in this little magical uh, box. But before I go and talk to you about the product here, I want to talk to you about enzymes and how important they are for our body. So enzymes are protein that are very, very important for our healing, for our growth, for our breathing, for our hormone system to regulate our hormones, for our emotions, and uh, for obviously our digestion. So they are very important and there are different enzymes in every, every part of our body, but there are inside enzymes, enzymes and there are outside enzymes. So the inside enzymes come from the metabolic enzymes and the digestive enzymes. So the met metabolic enzymes come from the organs um, and also the blood and the tissues. And then the digestive enzymes come from the liver and the pancreas. So there are also another type of enzyme which is called the food enzymes which come from the outside. It comes from the food that we eat. And it's so important to understand that sometimes when we haven't got enough of the food enzyme, our body is trying to get the metabolic enzymes and digestive enzymes to work extra hard to um, find that balance in our gut health. And uh, it's important to understand also our gut is considered as the second brain. And the reason being is that there are more than 100 neurons in our gut. That's more than the spine and more than the peripheral brain, um, the neural, the nervous system in our brain. So it is very, very important and very complex, very hard function. And it's also our immune system. So if your gut health is not right, your immune system is so jeopardized, your hormones are jeopardized, your emotions are jeopardized, everything is in relation to the gut health. So it's very important to understand that enzymes are so important in processing the food and nutrient that we eat so they can convert them to energy and they go to the cells to support our health and, and in general and the immune system. So just quickly again to talk to you about um, why you know the enzymes are deficient in our in our um, in our body so just imagine the lifestyle that we all having at the moment everybody is eating mainly processed food mainly microwave food mainly food that has been so processed to the point where it's pasteurized completely um taking all the nutrients the vitamin the minerals all taken out from the food cooked food processed food all these foods are basically just deficient in enzyme and very, very nutrient deficient. Uh, our soil is depleted, so there's a lot of um, deficiency in the food that we eat. So enzymes, the digestive enzymes, the metabolic enzymes, can't process those extra food that we eat that are foreign to the body sometimes. So the enzymes are really trying hard and they can't really do it. And even we have 100 million um, neurons they can't cope with everything so we need to give our body a break we need to give our body support because unless you eat 100% raw unless you eat um, very you know healthy super clean and you know exactly where you're coming with your food where you're growing your food who does this I mean there are maybe inspirational people out there who are doing this which you know I raise my hat to them because it's very very difficult I eat maybe 80 to 90 percent raw and and I'm still you know getting there with my raw food so the food enzyme comes from the raw food and unprocessed food if you are eating just processed food and not balancing your they say the research and scientists said at least 60 percent of your food needs to be food that is fresh raw and unprocessed so if you look at your diet and you look at your plate and you see that you have an unbalanced nutrient in there, you can guarantee that your gut health needs support and needs some help in terms of processing those carbohydrates and, and all the food that I have mentioned. So 
be mindful of um, what you are putting in your body and how you are and how what your gut is telling you. You really need to lean for inwards and see um, or hear the messages that your gut is telling you. Everything that helps, helps in, happens in the gut is happening in the outside as well on your skin. Although I've got flowers today, you can't really see my <laughs> the skin properly, but uh, you know what I mean. So let's talk about Terrazyme, and this is the reason why I am saying that this is a great support for your gut and digestive system. I, as I said, eat 90% or 80% to 90% raw food. So when I started eating more raw food, I had trouble with my gut, only because I was eating so much fiber, and my, my, my gut, I have a very slow metabolism, so my metabolic enzymes were suffering and trying like to, to get all the help they needed and so I really had bloating gas um, I could really had some I was having some upset stomach and I was really gutted because I really want to go into more raw food so I was only the only thing that I was doing it was eating way too much for my digestion I needed to take it a bit slower so I tried Terrazyme and I said to myself I will see how it goes with Terrazyme. So I put it to the test. I had this big, um, big raw meal and with a lot of food that could upset my, my stomach, that usually upset my stomach. So I took Terrazyme with that and I only took one capsule and I have had no symptoms of bloating, no symptoms of upset stomach, no symptoms of, um, you know, gas or anything like that. I was just amazed, amazed that nothing happened. And um, you must have found some YouTube videos as well. And I was going to do this experience today, but maybe in another video, where someone just take one capsule, open the, five, the, the, the enzymes inside, inside and put them in two bowls. So one bowl of, um, um, let's say, um, uh, what is it called? Oatmeal. And another bowl of oatmeal and they put the capsules of the terrazyme in there and you can see the difference the the breakdown of the the food very quickly so you've got the stodgy um, oat or uh, porridge in one side and then you've got the liquid completely liquidized uh, with terrazyme so it, it is not a, a woo woo thing it's not magic it is true the enzymes work magic in your body and you will get great digestion so if you're suffering from bloating suffering from some chronic disease, some start with the letter I and some start with the letter C and other ones, I think you really would benefit a lot from Terrazyme. And as I said, I have really experienced it myself and I can't preach enough about it. You can take one to three uh, per meal. Uh, for example, if you're having quite a good balanced nutrition, nutri nutritional plate, then you can have only one. So if you have 60% of your food raw, you can have that all fresh. And if you go in out and you feel like, okay, this is, I'm going to let my head down and I'm just going to go for a party and I know I'm going to indulge, then take with you to the time and take at least three per or three per, per meal before, before meal is better because it helps. You've got the gut health is already receiving the, the nutrient and the, helps absorb the nutrient. This is something that I absolutely crucial to understand that the food that we eat in, not only they are compromised, but not absorbed by the body. And even if you're eating raw, healthy food, completely clean, and your body is not absorbing that nutrient, you're wasting your time. You, everything is going to the other side without being absorbed. So terrazyme helps absorption as well because it helps the other enzyme to do the job and basically, you know, one of them it will be um, absorbing the nutrient. So the 10 uh, enzymes, just to give you an idea what the enzymes are in here. So we have 10 whole food, this is important, whole food, no process, no compromise, no GMO, no crap, and vegan too, and vegetarian. So the enzymes are protease that break, breaks down the protein to peptides and amino acid. You've got papain. Listen, I'm going to talk to you in French with this because I studied in French. <laughs> you can laugh as much as you want. It breaks down. I used to say protein and my friend used to laugh at me, but now I learned to say protein. So amylase, which is uh, to break down the carbohydrate, the starches and the sugar. Lipase, which is break down the fat, the oils. There's another important point here. If you're taking oils internally in a capsule, this is really good way to absorb and to process the oil that you're taking uh, internally. So this has, you can take this as well as, you know, taking your oils internally. 
alpha galactosidase <laughs> that breaks down the complex polysaccharide sugar found in legumes and cruciferous. This is re this is my problem: the legumes and the cruciferous vegetables that was that causing my bloating and gas. So if you're suffering from that, this is going to help you immensely. Cellulase that breaks down the fiber. This is what I was having: fiber, too much fiber, fruit and vegetables. Sucrase or sucrase breaks down the, suc the, the, suc the sucrose, the fructose, and the glucose for energy and the anti gluten enzyme. So, if you are intolerant to gluten, this is your go to to go for. I know so many people with gluten intolerance, and obviously, they avoid everything gluten and they go to gluten food. And gluten food is absolutely junk sometimes, so you have to really be careful what they put in there to replace the gluten or to replace that binding. Uh, binding um, chemical uh, put in the in the food and glucomal I can't even say it in French glucomylase it's a breakdown of starch so this is just an idea of how this 10 whole food enzyme is going to help you break down the food that you eat the food enzyme that our body needs help with to be able to function and let the metabolic gland do their, their best the digestive gland do the best the pancreas, the liver have a break, your gut has a break, your emotions has a break, your mood swings will help be in balance as well, your immune system is strengthened. What else can I say to just give you an idea of this amazing tyrosine? Great for that. So just to give you, um, maybe you have some questions and I'm going to answer them right here. Should I take tyrosine every day? They say yes, it can be taken with meals as needed, depending on the type of food that you are eating. So you can adjust those for more healthy with you know more food and um, raw food and um, fresh food. Take just one. If you are eating less with processed food and you know food with fat, um, so then you take up, up to three. And for lighter meals, as I said, like salad or fresh fruit, just one. Is it safe to take it with GI, GX Assist and PB Assist and Zendocrine? These are three other supplements that we have as well that helps with the, with the gut health. The answer is yes, you can really take them with the other three. Should I take, direct, should I take it directly before or right after meal? It's best to take it directly before before the meal but you can still take it during and after if sometimes I, I start eating I'm thinking I've got my tyrosine I'll go and, and, and take it in the middle of my, my meal if I forget before that take it during the meal I take it after the meal so it's not a problem but the best thing is to eat it just after the meal so it helps the digestion does this product contain genetic or modified material absolutely not is it vegan and vegetarian friendly yes um, and then it says how do I need to take the supplement does, does my body make enough of the needs? So the body, as I said, explained to you that it needs help and that's what we need to make sure that we are, if you are eating especially, you know, processed food and fat and lots of pasteurized and uh, microwave food, then you really need some help. But even so, as I said, even if you take 60% of fresh food and raw food, you would need help as well with that. That's it, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, can't speak enough about it. Next time I will make a little experiment with, you know, the oatmeal or with uh, something to show you how quickly it digests within minute. So can you imagine if you have a big, massive sandwich? So that's carbs, that's sugar, that's fiber, that's fat. There's so much in it. And your gut health is saying, oh my goodness, please, please give me a break. I need to find some resources here. I can't do it on my own. And this is why you feel lethargic. This is why you feel completely exhausted after a big meal or after a carby meal or after a processed and uncooked uh, and cooked meal. And so just be mindful and look within and understand that every little helps. It can really help your body, even if you're eating 100% you still need some help with your body because we live in an age where they're bombarded with toxins and bombarded with lots of stuff that we we don't know what we are eating anymore okay my lovelies i hope you have a wonderful weekend Mwah.